Nelson Brompton Natural Healing Center. Do you suffer from constipation, diarrhea, foul smelling stools, urine and flatulence? Do you have bad breath, strong body odors and sweat? Do people keep the distance when in your company? Are you plagued with rumbling stomach, heartburn, chest pains, persistent coughing, itching in the ears, nose and anus, hunger pains that won't go away despite eating? Are you constantly tired, losing weight and feeling weak despite a healthy appetite. This could all be as a result of parasites. And be aware that parasites are not just something that is suffered by the third world and poor countries. It is here in the West as well amongst the rich and the affluent easy to acquire, very hard to get rid of. And here's the classical way of inheriting parasites through the fecal oral route, bad hygiene, our pets, and not taking care of ourselves. Here are some of the protozoas, Cryptus sporidium and Amobia, Guardia, Toxoplamosis, and here are some of the worms, there are pinworms, hookworms, roundworms, tapeworms and the liver fluke. This is a picture of a tapeworm. This is a picture of the liver fluke that causes a lot of problems within the body. How do you acquire them? Playing in contaminated water, near animal feces, birds and pets have the habit of depositing their fecal matter on your carpets, your beds, sofas, and when you hoover the parasite's eggs float in the air and you breed them in. Once they enter your lungs and stomach, the eggs hatch out and the cycle begins. Animals and birds litter the leaves and fruits in your organic garden, which you then eat without washing them thoroughly. Another way is to walk bare feet in the garden and through a scratch or a crack in the skin, microscopic organs soon find their way into the body. Handling raw meat and fish and not washing your hands and then you handle raw food, fruits and vegetables which you then consume without washing, especially your fruits and your vegetables. Not washing your hands after visiting the bathroom, drinking contaminated water, passing on the bacteria and viruses by shaking hands, contaminating cool, damp, dark places, which you leave ready for the next person to inherit. These are some of the ways you transfer parasites from one body to the other. These are some of the ways to transfer the parasites from one body to the other and what you need to do 
is practice good standard of hygiene. Clean your hands after you handle your pets. Deparasitize your body and your pets regularly. I recommend three cups of a bowel mix, herbal bowel mix. This will get rid of all the mothers, daughters and eggs of the worms and parasites in the body, including the liver fluke, which is a cause of the many ailments suffered by the human race. Nelson Brunton, Natural Healing Centre.